Hi, I'm Kurt Wilson. It's Thursday, December the 22nd. It's about 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm here at the Emergency Operations Center here at the City of Roswell. I'm joined by the senior leadership team of the City of Roswell to my right, Fire Chief Joe Panino. Uh, to his right, Police Chief Jim Conroy. To his right, our Parks and Rec Director Jeff Leatherman. To my left, our Assistant City Administrator Michael Fisher. To his left, our new Transportation Director Jeff Letterfield. And to Jeff's left, our Assistant Public Works Director Brian Watson. Joined by these gentlemen today to obviously give you an update and status on the weather. Uh, as most of you know, I've got an email here from me from Georgia Power. I'm sure a lot of you have gotten emails from a lot of your potential service providers about weather and winter preparedness and so the steps that need to be taken. So that's what we're here today today is to talk to you about the impending weather. As most of you know, we're looking at a three-day weather cycle, perhaps the uh, uh, most formidable that we've had perhaps in 10 years for a continued streak time. So the first thing I want to do is obviously the most important thing that I believe that City Council Mayor and staff did this year was when we began back in January was we began City Council meetings with prayer. So if you'll indulge me, I want to begin this message to you with a little prayer. Great God, thank you for this wonderful city. Thank you for, for all of those who serve us, who serve this city. Thank you for our residents. Lord, I pray be with our city protect our city, protect our residents, help keep people safe. For those who are, fine, who are in need, help them to find a place of shelter. Help people to enjoy one another, to find love during these, day, these times where they may be a little fearful or the weather may be a little harsh. Take care of us, Lord. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, so I'd like with that, I'd like to turn it over to our uh, great professionals in the city. I'd like to start with our fire chief, Joe Pinino. Joe. Thank you, Mayor. So for us, the main thing we're concerned about is safety. So tonight we're going to see uh, the chance for some rain. And then, of course, the temperatures plunging uh, down into the single digits with wind chill um, well into the, the negative. So. Um, Tomorrow, if you don't need to be outside, stay indoors uh, and stay protected and stay off the, the streets because we could see some, some potential for black ice. So we want to stay off the roadways to make sure our fire personnel and our police personnel can be out doing their job. If you do have to go outside, make sure that you don't have any exposed skin. Make sure you're dressed in layers because um, we want to um, protect you from any chance of frostbite. And if you are using fireplaces or space heaters um, to heat your home, make sure that you're keeping uh, combustibles at least three feet away or more. The same with generators. If you're using a generator because the power comes out, goes out for some reason, make sure the generator is not running in your garage. Make sure you have carbon monoxide and smoke detectors and make sure it's about 20 feet away from your home. For frozen pipes, make sure you keep your faucets dripping. You keep your heat to at least 55 degrees. Um, that way we don't have to deal with any burst, bursted pipes, especially when um, things start to, to thaw out. We're anticipating having temperatures below freezing anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. So it's going to be an extended stretch of below freezing temperatures. And of course, um, make sure your pets are indoors. We don't want to leave the pets outdoors um, when we're dealing with these types of temperatures. Thank you. Thank you, Fire Chief Joe Panino. Now I'd like to introduce our Police Chief, Jim Conroy. Thank you, Mayor. As the Fire Chief mentioned, we've been monitoring the incoming uh, weather front for several days, and we are expecting extreme cold weather. Uh, the men and women of the Roswell Police Department are here to continue serving our community, but during the next few days especially, they're going to be watchful for the members of our community that are more susceptible to the elements and to the cold weather. So they will be out looking for individuals and if we find people who are in need to make sure that they receive the resources uh, to stay warm and safe, we will be working heavily with our community partners uh, to provide the resources that are needed to make sure that they are safe and warm, especially through the weather and throughout the holiday weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Police Chief Jim Conroy, and thank you for reminding us of those who are potentially in need and how you and your team and the city is there to serve them. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to introduce our Parks and, Rec Parks and Rec Director, Jeff Leatherman. 
Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just as you heard from both our fire chief and our police chief, um, safety is going to be the most important thing that we're thinking about over the next 72 hours. Uh, to that end, um, our community centers will be closed tomorrow, Friday. Uh, we will not be having our normally scheduled operating programs or operating hours so that we can keep our staff safe from driving in early in the morning, as well as our community safe. We want you to stay home, so we're going to close our community centers. We will be announcing that on our social media as well as the city's website uh, here shortly. Um, we'll continue to provide updates. Those community centers were already scheduled to be closed on Saturday and Sunday this weekend, um, and the regular return to operation hours will be posted on our website. We also want to remind you that in these freezing temperatures, areas of our trail system will also remain uh, a little bit dangerous, especially if we see frozen water and ice conditions on our roads. That will also translate into our parking lots and our trail systems, especially areas in the shade. So when you do come out as it starts to warm up in the afternoons, take extra precautions on our trail systems in our sidewalks and our parking lots to ensure that you don't see any ice, you don't see any hazardous uh, conditions for yourself or for your pets if you're out walking your dogs in our parks and facilities. So please stay safe over the next couple of hours, or couple of days. Thank you, Director Leatherman. Uh, now I'd like to introduce our Assistant City Administrator, Michael Fisher. Thank you, Mary Wilson. Uh, as you've already heard from a couple of our uh, uh, chiefs and department directors, uh, some of the things we do within the city of Roswell are 24-hour services. Those will not be stopped. Uh, the police will continue working. Fire will continue working. We'll continue to keep our streets and our citizens safe. However, as you heard from uh, Mr. Leatherman, some of our uh, non-safety specific activities uh, will be uh, postponed for tomorrow. They will be closed. Our city hall will be closed as far as administrative functions. There will be an announcement coming out about that later. I think you're going to hear from Mr. Watson in a few minutes about uh, uh, solid waste pickup, and he'll give you an update on that. But just to let you know, if there's an emergency, there's something that goes on, and you need assistance from the city, of course, call 911, talk to the people in charge. Otherwise, if it's administrative function, uh, we'll, be, we'll be back with you again the first of the week. Thank you, Assistant City Administrator Michael Fisher. Now I'd like to introduce our Director of Tra Transportation, Jeff Littlefield. Thank you, Mayor. The Roswell Department of Transportation has crews um, reporting for duty starting at midnight tonight. They will be on rotation until the storm event ends. Our vehicles have been fueled and inspected for safety. We have our salt spreaders mounted. We have approximately 125 tons of salt and gravel mixture. We also have approximately 10 tons of calcium chloride to help deal with the icy conditions that may arise. Our wood chippers and chainsaws are ready to respond to any downed trees. And we have traffic signal crews on standby to um, fix any downed or inoperable traffic signals. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Director Littlefield. Uh, now I'd like to introduce our Assistant Public Works Director, Mr. Brian Watson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, on a bright side, uh, solid waste services will be operational both uh, tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, we will be closing the recycling center. We've had a lot of uh, staff that work outside, and uh, with these temperatures, we don't uh, want them to be um, at harm's way, so we will be closing the recycling center uh, Saturday, uh, both Friday and Saturday, with um, next week's schedule as a regular uh, start again on Tuesday. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Watson. And thank you, professionals, for the great job, our great team of professionals and senior leadership here in the city of Roswell that serve us so well and serve us in these kind of times that you can see the city of Roswell is prepared to take care of us as residents. So it's Christmas Sunday. We're right in the middle of Hanukkah. Take this time to enjoy your family, to enjoy one another. If you have a time, pick up the phone, reach out to somebody that may be shut in. Um, think about those who might need some help in during these kind of times and uh, know that the city of Roswell is here taking care of its business, taking care of us as residents. Hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy this holiday and God bless.